We're here in Las Vegas, and we're talking with Jed Ayers from iGel. How are you doing today? Good, Mike. How are you? Um, so I understand that there was an IDC report that came out. Maybe you can tell our viewers a little bit about what that entails. Yeah, so uh, at the end of last year, the data came out in for the uh, three years of hardware for thin clients, and iGel purchased that. We actually got some great information in terms of the progression that we'd made on uh, har hardware market share. We went from seven to three in the US. And as we started to look at the data, we actually saw that there was a really interesting story around the operating system on hardware, specifically Linux. Mm -hmm. And so we actually commissioned IDC and convinced them, hey, there's actually something interesting here. You might want to double click into the operating system segmentation uh, in the endpoints around thin client. And so they took on that research and they actually published yesterday a, a very exciting paper that actually confirms that Linux is the only operating system in thin client that's growing and Windows is flat. And this doesn't even account for the conversion Linux that's happening, right? In the case of iGel, we sold right. over 100,000 seats of that just last year. So this is the year where uh, we believe that Linux will actually pass Windows in thin clients uh, from a market share perspective. And then probably equally important is it also illuminates some of the Linux projects that are going on inside companies that you would never have expected to embrace Linux, specifically Microsoft, Intel, AMD, Dell, and Amazon. So there's right. some very interesting kind of quotes around initiatives that are going on inside of all of those companies uh, literally in the last nine months around their projects with Linux. So that's good news for iGel, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think it's a statement that confirms that, you know, we're sitting on some very powerful IP, especially as we move towards billions of devices being connected and, uh, you know, more and more uh, cloud-delivered desktops and applications. Um, so how have your numbers been uh, for this year? I know we talked to you earlier uh, just before we came out to this event, and uh, you know, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the numbers and. Sure. Yeah. So we're uh, obviously a privately held company, but I'm happy to tell you that uh, we actually had the biggest July the company's ever had in the history of you know 21 years. So that's an exciting uh, development, right? To have a, a what's typically a slow July as the biggest month uh, that, that we've ever had. Uh, but yeah, the hardware numbers for the year are up 30 percent. And then in the U.S., probably what's very exciting is that we're uh, in triple digits for our software growth in the U.S. And what we see is all the very biggest deals, like they're getting bigger and bigger. We're talking 10, 20, 30,000 seat conversion deals, and most of those are backloaded into the back end of the year. So we have, you know, I hope we get to check back right. with you at the end of this year because I think we may have some absolutely staggering um, growth figures. Now, do you have anything new that's been happening between now and the end of the year? Any new releases or? Yeah, we have some uh, some software re a software release in October that's going to make some uh, really nice enhancements to collaboration, printing, uh, analytics, some great integrations with Printer Logic and with Lakeside, and uh, you know some enhancements around collaboration, some headset things. Uh, so there, there's some nice enhancements coming, but probably the most important thing for your viewers to know is that we're actually changing our consumption model in terms of how iGel will be purchased, specifically the hardware, uh, starting January 1st. So all hardware January 1st and on will come with a one, three, or five year maintenance requirement. Um, and so that's and translation, that, that yeah, means that any different? hardware that uh, is is quoted uh, between now and December 31st, you mm -hmm. will not have to pay that uh, maintenance. So historically, iGel has sold hardware with a five-year uh, warranty and a three-year end-of-life support. So right. literally, we have people that are getting sort of eight to 10 <coughs> years out of a piece of hardware, and they never make another payment to iGel other than the initial purchase, right? So um, this has kind of changed. There's going to be some wonderful uh, enhancements to how we simplify the licensing and you can kind of easily move the licenses around across your x86 infrastructure so mm -hmm. you can put it on a ud pocket on a laptop on a desktop and you kind of will be able to roam that license across a device but it's an important kind of uh, milestone for iGel as we move more and more towards a software company and uh to to have this change in sort of how we're packaging and the products right. being consumed, but I think it's an important message for your viewers to understand that if they're used to buying iGel hardware with no maintenance, 
they it's have to change. they have to buy it between now and December thirty first, right? Okay. So. Um, so we've been talking with a lot of thought leaders uh, here in uh, Las Vegas, and we've been asking, you know, where do you see the future over the next two, three years? Um, you know, how do you see it changing, especially for your industry? So obviously we talked at the beginning of this around Linux being kind of the de facto kind of favored operating system for cloud delivered desktops and applications. Mm -hmm. And we, I guess what we're seeing is that uh, people are starting to embrace the, the cloud in a big way, right? Obviously for their infrastructure, for their data and so forth. And, and so what, we're, what we believe is gonna happen is that the whole DAOs market is, uh, is gonna accelerate at a rate that we probably hadn't expected before. And you know that's very exciting for iGel because as people deliver desktops from you know whether it's Amazon, Microsoft, Google, they're going to need some kind of a, a thin, light, secure, highly manageable operating system. And mm -hmm. based on the IDC data, it looks like you know that uh, is predominantly going to be Linux. So for a company that's been very focused on delivering a, a Linux operating system, you know over the last two decades. I think we find ourselves in kind of a perfect position to to ride this inflection point. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, talking with us, and uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your time here in Las Vegas, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up soon before the end of the year. Absolutely. Thank you for all you guys do to cover this industry and uh, what's happening.